want to remind you this is a free show, so if you were paying, I would be funnier. So, <laughs> just want to set the bar. <laughs> Are you guys ready for showtime? I'm the entertainer, and I know just where I stand. Another Dad's here too, you'll see him later. And he's originally from New York City. New York. <laughs> if you guys have had that New York accent, you know, they go on New York and sound like this. Watch all that PT and Def Jam. What's up with you? What's up? What's up? You got family that talks like that. As soon as I walk in the door in New York, it's Cam, yeah, boy, step, step here and get with a kiss. I'm like, oh, hey, settle down, Grandma. Just. <laughs> <laughs> All right, no, no, Yeah, last year, I did the shark dive. Oh, man, that's cool. Shark dive is cool. You get down there in the bottom of the ocean, and they feed sharks right in front of you. I know what you're thinking. A lot of black people don't do the shark dive. <laughs> I don't even think a shark had ever seen a black person down there. So I had passed me like this. I think that one's poisonous. I am single. It's Facebook official. But uh, it's hard to find people. It's hard to meet people because I'm, I'm getting older. And you have to have game, and I don't have that. And when you were 12, you know, all you had to do was play games. Because when I was 12, I used to play RCK. And so you'd run after a girl, you chase her. And if you catch her, you could kiss her. RCK, run, catch, and kiss. And you know what you learn at 12 playing RCK? All the cute girls run really, really fast. And all the ugly girls run in the street. Oh, I fell. <laughs> I'm always falling in this game. Just run up on that. Ooh, excuse me. Gentlemen, and welcome to your first edition of Damn Good Mornings. I'm your cruise director, Tam. And I'm Kevin, your show host, and welcome aboard. So we have tons of activities, tons of things going on. Uh, I'm your show, so I'll be in charge of fun, basically. So. <laughs> That's a pretty good gig. <laughs> well, assistant charge of fun. I think. Oh, okay. Alright, I appreciate that. So I will have everything from the sports courts to bingo to the nightclub here in the Crow's Nest. So if you're looking to dance, make sure you come up and hang out with the bartenders and I and we'll have show you a good time. But we also have tons of other things to do, right? Yeah, we, we do. Around full the ship. location team. Well, the full location team is exactly right. We're just part of it. Basically, we have loads of different events, including a culinary arts center, which you can find on deck seven. And your culinary arts center host will be there looking after you throughout the cruise, taking you through different cooking demonstrations, cooking classes, craft classes, uh, napkin folding, oh. Oh, towel animals. Oh, that's my favorite. <laughs> my daughter loves those. <laughs> the monkey, she goes nuts. Me too. <laughs> well, you're about the same age mentally. Hey. <laughs>
This is the very first and probably only time I'll be able to run the conversation. <laughs> oh, you better watch yourself. So first things first, I want to raise. Speaking of the bathrooms, I'm a small person, but I can lather up the sides of the walls and go like this, and I take a shot. It's true. Oh, uh, very good evening, everyone. I know, I know what you're thinking, and yes, I finally made it. I finally done it. I finally crossed over. I made it to the big time. I've done it. I'm finally saving a whole bunch of money by switching my car insurance to Geico. <laughs> dreams are coming true! I tell you, hi, she's very sorry that she cannot be here right now. But, until that time, until she makes a return, I am the cruise director. <laughs> I know. And they didn't tell me until I was just backstage that I get to make cruise director decisions. I know. So my first cruise director decision is to give myself the raise that I've been looking for. So I get to introduce, <laughs> she's ready too, an international artist who has performed all around the world. A crazy Latin artist known for her warmth and energy. She is the hot tamale of the high seas. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the performer you hear right now, the electrifying LV Rose. Sing <laughs> Neptune Rose up from his seaweed bed and proclaim that all on board to the sharks be fed. Then picking up his trident and boarding the flowing stream, he hurried to meet us, assisted by his mermaid queen. All rise for King Neptune! Yay! Yo, what's up, pizza man? Dude, you're a, you're a dragon. <gasps> Oops. Sorry, dude. My bad. Whoa. I got it, Jay. <laughs> Much appreciated. Cool! The pizzas are here! So, uh, who got cheese? Yeah, pizza! We did it! And this one is pepperoni and caviar? Right here, waiter. And Stitch. You want a bite? Hmm. Oh, wow. oh. 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 Okay, guys, whose turn is it to do the dishes? No one watches TV until the dishes are done. Uh, Cat Mom, homework. Um, I gotta save the world. I did the dishes last night. Hey, that was me! I'll do it! Oh, well, thank you, London. That's very nice of you to volunteer. No, no wait, I didn't say that. I, I thank you, London. <laughs> thank you! The performers that you're about to see, they're like you. You've seen many, many, many performers. You've seen talented, Talented singers and dancers, professionally trained comedians who have dedicated their whole lives to their craft. And today, we're gonna have none of that. <laughs> today, we're gonna have very special people. Now, I do want to remind you, I just wanna set them all up because they did not have a rehearsal. They did not get to practice. So whatever you're going to see, I am going to see for the first time as well. And I'm a little bit frightened for all of you. Now, just uh, backstage, I was having a conversation with uh, your cruise director, Gene, and we were talking about who was going to host this show. And he said, you know, Kevin, you should host the show. And I did not want to. So basically what it came down to is we flipped a coin. I lost. I <laughs> no, I did because, I, I mean, I have no talent. I, I can't sing. I can't dance. I can't do anything. And to prove it to you, I would like to put it to a song. Maestro. I have no talent, I have no talent, I have no talent, I know. Nothing about me is appealing. I want to apologize right now. 
I'm not sure what Jean was thinking to have me singing to a crowd. I have no talent, I have no talent, I have no talent, I know. If I had talent, I would be on land. I'm sure by now that you understand. I'm the exception to the exceptions of this voyage brand. I'm not qualified to host this show.